Welcome back to the Fox 6 One by Carrier Kitchen. I am so excited this morning. We are making a Mexican dish with our friends from El Santo. Ciomaro Zamudio is joining me from West Hartford. You just opened. First off, congratulations thank you, on thank your grand you so opening. Much. And thank you for being with us. It's great to have you here. We are making cochinita. Cochinita bibil. Mm -hmm. Which is very... Very well, typical and traditional from Mexico City. Yes, uh, Cochineta Pibil actually it's from Yucatan, Mexico. It's an estate in the south of the country. Uh -huh. um, it's where all the Mayan culture is coming from. Uh -huh. In Mexico, usually we don't use any condim uh, too much condiments for food, but this is an exception. And the main ingredient here is the pork. The right? main ingredient here is the pork, so it will be a slow cook marinated roasted pork. Uh -huh. uh, we have to use tons of, um, this is pork shoulder, we have to use tons of uh, condiments, herbs. It's very, very simple. Uh -huh. You have to use basically blend everything and then you have to have the plantain leaf. It's very, I would say it's very, it's a little difficult to explain but it gives you the, a little touch into the meat. Mm -hmm. for the flavor. Of, from the leaf? Exactly, from okay. the leaf. Uh -huh. okay. So you have to blend everything. It's going to be one tablespoon of each condiment. Uh, orange juice is very important and um, lime juice. Okay. After that you have to throw everything. It's going to be the result. Mm -hmm. You have to throw this into the meat and then it has to be marinated for over 24 hours. And for folks watching at home, you can get all the information in the recipe by scanning the code on the right-hand screen, bottom of your screen, and you can get all that information. So that's marinating. How long should that marinate? Over the night. Okay, definitely yep. overnight. Absolutely. So a little bit of planning with this one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then okay. you have to put it into the oven, and then after that, this is going to be the result. Mm -hmm. And you, so you pick it apart after mm -hmm. it's... How long does it cook? Cool. You said at least an hour? No, three hours. Three hours. Okay, definitely some planning. <laughs> this now this reminds me of my other favorite Mexican dish, uh, carnitas. Carnitas, very yes. similar, right? Um, similar, just because it's pulled, but mm -hmm. it's no. The ingredients are the very spices different. are different. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Very different. All right. Different. So now that you've pulled it apart. Yes, you have to pull it apart, and then you can you make cook it, it a little bit more. Exactly, just mm -hmm. a little bit more, and then you have to put into the. If, if you want tacos, you can make them tacos. Mm -hmm. You can make your soft tacos, and you can make sandwiches, mm -hmm. which is our and most that's popular. A torta. This is right the torta, here. exactly. Yes, yes. It's the, the torta. Yes. And what is that sauce that you have on there? The salsa. Mm -hmm. Which salsa? I'm sorry. The sauce that you have on the bread. Oh, it's made with a. Oh, this is beans. I'm sorry. Oh, that's yes, beans. Yes, refried okay. beans. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Yes, refried beans. Important for this dish. Mm -hmm. Always works with, with refried beans. Okay. Okay. So basically, just this, and then you have to add. This is a cured onion. Mm-hmm. The marinated onions. Marinated really cured good. onions. Exactly. I have to mention that when I first reached out to you to come on the show, I didn't realize that I'd been admiring your food for quite some time because you were involved with Frida, another Mexican restaurant yes. there in West Hartford. But yes. you've now moved on mm -hmm. here with El Santo. It was my dream being uh -huh. in the center mm -hmm. in West Hartford. And so you yes, are. Exactly, yes, yes. We are now, we're working very hard. Mm -hmm. Opened about two months ago, mm -hmm. and we do have some pictures. You had a great celebration for the grand opening there. For folks who aren't aware, you're right in the center. We are in the right center. Right there the center. on Farmington mm -hmm. Avenue. There you are with the celebration with the mayor there. And how have been, things been so far? It's been good. It's a little difficult, as many people know, because finding a good staff, it's hard. And you time opened up right, you know, during the pandemic. After the pandemic. We right at the opened. very end, people were still not sure about going out yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we are giving the opportunity to high schoolers and to um, college students who can help us. And little by little, mm -hmm. we all are start like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells so delicious. Let's yes. get this plated up here. Okay. You can serve either with a salad, a signature mm -hmm. salad, or mm -hmm. french fries. And then, good. like you said, you the put tacos, together also put The tacos, it has to be with a little bit of oil. Unfortunately, we have to add oil. Yeah. This looks so good. I'm going to snack it this very knife tasteful. over here. But also want to know if you could point out some of the other dishes here. Another favorite of a lot of people is the birria. Birria. Birria has been very popular in a restaurant. Um, we just add cheese on the birria, mm. marinated as well a little bit, condimented. We have uh, the ceviche. It's another main dish that we have. Mm -hmm. Calamari, shrimp, octopus. We have tostadas. It's made with a tuna. And then for sure, everything is homemade. Yes, everything is homemade. Absolutely. Everything is homemade. The tostadas are homemade. Uh, for sure, we have churros, we have flan, we offer tres leches. Then we also have a really good. Um, well, your tequila and mezcal, that is another focus of yours. Tim, I just want you to come over here and just focus on this because this looks incredible. 
and I'm a little bit afraid to take a bite because it's going to end up all over my face and possibly my dress, but I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before we go, I want to let people know that you have events happening every other Wednesday and also this Sunday. Exactly. So, Ciamara, tell us about those. Uh, we're going to have live music every other Wednesday, and during the weekend for the 3rd of July, we're having a DJ mm -hmm. starting at 6. And we have a late menu as well for most of the people who wants to eat a little late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to have a um, mezcal dinner coming in July and probably more events. Mm -hmm. But we just have to. Well, I'm so make glad plans. you came in and this was delicious. Thank I'm going to so have to save the rest us. of this for when I'm not going to be back on camera. But thanks so much for being with us and congratulations you. on your grand opening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Mm -hmm. Stick with us. We still have a lot more coming up. So we'll be right back.